Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video I'm going to do something that I haven't done for a while and that is an unboxing. We are going to unbox together this little beauty. It is the Romance Readers book box. Uh, it is um, a book box for romance readers. Uh, I found them through an event that I'm going to later this year, uh, book signing. Um, they set themselves up, but they've been going for a few years now and I've kind of been stalking the page on Facebook. They do have a website as well and I'll try and remember to leave it all linked down below for you if this is something you're interested in. It's a UK based book box as well, which makes it even better. Um, so I don't have astronomical shipping costs. Um, and it is a book box that, from my understanding of what I've seen on the page over the last couple of years, uh, is that it is about the books and not about the um, other bits of tat that you get in other book boxes. So, let's open it up together and see what's inside. I'll just hold it up so I can show you. It comes beautifully wrapped. The, the books are all packaged um, inside. They're in wrap. Uh, they have this gorgeous pink tissue. And then let's see what I've got. I have the spring box here. Um, this is actually uh, the Friends to Lovers. She does two um, tropes for every quarter. And for spring, it was Friends to Lovers. And um, then she does a Marmite box, which is one that you're either gonna love or you're gonna hate. And I think it was erotic fiction. Now, I only went for the Friends to Lovers because erotic fiction sometimes for me can be a bit hit or miss. As she said, this is a Marmite box. So uh, yeah, let's see what Friends to Lovers I've got. I have no idea who any of the authors are. She keeps it all a complete secret. We aren't allowed to put spoilers on the page. She has a specific spoilers group um, for people to look into. Um, if they want to, after the box, books have gone out. But other than that, no spoilers are allowed until uh, the lady who runs it is absolutely certain that everybody or the majority of boxes have arrived with their new owners. So let's have a look. So I'm opening it up. So I've got this package here which has got lots of little bits and pieces um, tucked away inside it so uh, the first thing I'm going to pick out is a candle um, as you can see that's clean linen um, I love clean fresh smells so oh yes that definitely that's definitely a very clean fresh smell that smells like my uh, washing that I've just taken out of my washing machine and put on my clothes area so Definitely going to put that one on the shelf to burn at some point. Ooh. And then I have what looks like, yes, I think it might be some sort of charm to hang in a window. I don't know if you can see that. It's all made up of hearts. Um, I can't seem to get it out of there at the moment, but it's made up of these beautiful blue hearts. Um, on a string I'm assuming that you hang it and it's possibly some sort of it would probably go really well in my window actually maybe I'll get something to stick in my bedroom window and um, the cats will have fun with that I'm sure uh, <clears throat> I've got a lovely little tote bag um, so romance readers book box uk so that is the uh book company and then on the back i've just spotted this lovely shiny uh design and i'll just try and mirror it so it says kindness is free sprinkle that stuff everywhere absolutely that is definitely something we should live by i um can never have too many bags in my life uh, i went shopping last weekend before i got this box um, and I went into the shops, do you want a bag? Uh, yes please, because I've forgotten to pick one up. I'm always forgetting to pick up bags and I have them dotted all over my home as well. So another one will be completely handy. Uh, it looks like we have a little, yeah, we've got um, just a little notebook. I think it might say something about 
the actual authors uh, so I will not do that because that will spoil it for me um, and then again this will probably spoil it for me just um, when uh, she gets the books the authors she asks them to send her bits of swag um, to pop inside as well so and I've just got lots of little bits and pieces um, which is clearly from the authors that are featured so I can see the first book so the first book off the pile is The Junior by Monica Murphy. I've never heard of Monica Murphy, so this is gonna be a new to me author. So that will be um, lovely to explore. Uh, it looks like it's going to be um, a new adult maybe. I don't think it's going to be young adult, but yes, um, it says it's a college years novel. So let's read what it says on the back. Caleb Burke, charming, funny, sexy, major player both on the field and with the ladies. I hate him. Well, not really. I resist his so-called charms because I recognise them. We're a lot alike, Caleb and I. He's afraid of commitment. Me too. A giant flirt? Same here. He knows how to party. I am the absolute queen of the party. Until I realise it's time for me to grow up and become a responsible adult. I'll be student teaching next year, so to save money, I move in with my two new roommates, Eli Bennett and Caleb. Then I find a summer job where Caleb works. Soon I'm spending almost every single day with the guy. He's growing on me too. We've always had this unspoken chemistry brewing between us. When we finally give in to it, it's just as spectacular as I secretly predicted. The sex and everything else keeps getting better and better between us too. But can I really take this guy seriously? Or am I only setting myself up to fail? So, college romance. Um, I've read a few. It's not something that's ever gripped me, but I like the sound of it. Um, not sure if it's going to be dual POV or whether um, or whether it will be single POV. No, no, it looks like um, there are chapters from Caleb's point of view as well. Book number two is another author that I've never heard of, and that's Rachel DeLune. And this book is The Two Halves of My Heart. Um, so there's the cover on that one for you. Uh, so let's read what it says on the back. The Two Halves of My Heart. When I was seven years old, I met Madison, the love of my life. And a minute later, I met Oliver, who stole my heart and kept it forever. Loving both of them, giving them each a piece of my heart was easy at that age. Madison made me brave and Oliver kept me safe, but then we grew up and loving both of them was wrong. How was I supposed to choose between my best friends? I couldn't and worse, I didn't. And that was the beginning of the end. It fractured us in ways we couldn't imagine and pushed one of us to make a choice that would change the course of all our lives. But could we all live with the consequences? Three friends, two brothers, one romance, one love story. Hmm. So, I'm not sure who's... Oh, it's actually signed as well. How lovely. Um, and, yes, the author is asking you to choose. Oh, what I didn't realise is in the cover page, um, it says that it's a Romance Readers book special edition. Um, what I should have said was you won't find these covers online anywhere unless you're looking for these specific ones. Uh, these are specially bound by... Um, the lady who runs the club, she gets uh, special permissions from the authors to bind up their books um, with alternative covers, one-off covers, to make this box just that little bit extra special. Again, book number three is an author I've never heard of, and this is Someone Like You by Alexandra Silva. Uh, again, I have no idea what this is about, but uh, from the cover, this promises to be quite a fun time. So let's see what this one's about as well. Dorian Anson is my friend. She's the only person who's ever questioned my smiles, my jokes, the one-liners that have our friends shaking their heads at me. I've lived my life on those smiles. They never failed me until her. I wasn't counting on her when I designed my friend. I never imagined the possibility of someone like her coming into my life. She was the girl with a beautiful soul, pretty face and whole heart. But hearts aren't made to stay whole. I watched hers break, I watched her tears fall, I watched as her world tilted on its axis and shattered at her feet. This girl, 
She sees me, all parts of me. The truths I try to hide, the secrets I bury, what's mine and what's not. She sees it all and I can only hope that the truth isn't too much, that she won't walk away, that she won't leave me alone. We both have a past, we have ghosts, we have fears. I'm hoping that somehow in the end we'll have each other too. I've never needed anyone before her and I know I'll never want anyone else after her. There is no one like her, my pretty girl, Dorian. Wow. Sounds intriguing. Sounds a bit like... Someone has a bit of a shady past and um, hmm, quite intrigued by that one. I uh, might have to pick that one up very, very soon. Um, the, this, these are coming at the right time for me because in April I am doing a readathon. I'll talk about it in my April uh, TBR video. But yes, these books are definitely arriving and I quite like the sound of that one. I'm quite intrigued by that one. So. And the final book, again, is another author I've absolutely never heard of. Um, this one looks like it, like it might be a little bit darker in terms of the cover. Um, well, we'll have to find out and see. Anyway, this is A Bridge Between Us by K.K. Allen. Um, it says she's a USA Today best-selling author. In fact, I think they all say that. Um, no, only two of them are USA Today's, today's best-selling author. Um but yes, let's find out what A Bridge Between Us is about. So it does look a bit, oh, I mean, all the way around. It's just got this dark tone to it. Uh, but it is friends to lovers, so hmm, let's, let's read on. I had always known he wasn't mine to keep, but that didn't change the way I loved him. Quietly, gently, and from afar. As the seasons changed, the corn stalks grew strong and the grapevines flourished with hope. But none of it mattered, not when the soil at our feet bound us in a century-old rivalry. We'd never even had a chance. They said life flashed before your eyes on the way to death, but on that night, after my final scream burst from my throat and my world started to fade to black, I only thought of him, of his sweet chocolate eyes, his desperately cautious stare and his silence that carried more weight than gold. I should have died that night. Instead, I crossed the moonlit bridge and never returned. I let rivalry win. If only that had been enough to keep us all safe. If only we didn't have a bridge between us. That sounds really, that sounds really intriguing. I'm really, oh wow. Oh, there's a sign, she's put a signed book plate inside this one. So this one isn't signed, but it does have a book plate to stick inside it. Um, That does sound very, in, I'm really intrigued by that. That does sound a little bit darker. Um. So yeah, I'm quite intrigued by that one. Um, I'm, I'm quite intrigued by all four of them, actually. I'm really, really pleased with that. Uh, so it's four authors I've absolutely never heard of. Um, and yeah, um, I just absolutely thought, because it's only quarterly, I just thought it would be a great way to be introduced to authors I've never heard of. Um, as I have been, obviously you don't accumulate uh, the that much in the way of tat, um, because I was finding that with book boxes before, a lot of the bits and pieces I've actually gotten rid of. I think I've kept mugs, maybe, um, but a lot of other things I've gotten rid of. Um, but yes, yeah, so you just get, um, so just postcodes, so I think that's from K.K. Allen. Um, that's a sticker, so I think that might relate to one of the books, I'm not quite sure. Uh... That'll be, that's from Alexandra Silva, so that must relate to something to do with her books. Again, a bookmark that you can use, advertising bookmark. Um, again, the same with the Rachel DeLune one. Um, yeah. It don't really, I, I'm actually really pleased with this. I'm really glad, actually. Um, you can, she has various um, options as well. You don't have to have four books you can have anything from two to six books um so you can have two books well she'll select two of the main trope for you um you can have the you can have the box that i've got without any so i wouldn't have had the tote bag i wouldn't have had the candle and i wouldn't have had the the window charm um but you just get the four books or you have the option that i've got which is the four books or there is another option where you can have 
um, just the Marmite box, which was the other trope that she had for spring erotica, or you could have both together. I have ordered the summer box. I've completely forgotten what the summer themes are, but I have ordered all six. I have gone all out. So um, when I unbox that one for you, um, it will probably be sometime around uh, July, I think. Um, July, August, I'm not quite sure. Uh, then I will be having six books to show you. I have seen a bit of a spoiler. I think I may know one of the authors. Um, but uh, knowing what the themes are, or having a vague recollection of what the themes are for summer, um, then I don't think I'll be unhappy because it will be books by her that I have. I mean, if it's books by her that I've read, um, then great. Uh, but if not, then yes, that would be fantastic. So I'm really pleased with this. I'm glad that I have discovered this company. Um, now I need to find room on my bookshelves uh, for these books, although I might leave them out. Like I say, I might pop them on a trolley um, as potential reads for April. Um, but again, more on that in my April TBR. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you love romance books um, and you like book boxes and you don't like lots of stuff, um, then obviously please go and check them out. Um, it is Romance Readers Book Box UK. I will leave the link down below for you. Um, they have a Facebook page, so search her out. Uh, Heather and the other ladies who support her with running the Facebook page are absolutely lovely. Um, and yeah, um, go check them out if you like it. If you've liked this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I make videos most weeks. I'm not going to say every week because I'm not doing every week at the moment. I'm struggling with my camera. Um, and yeah, I will look forward to seeing you in the next one whenever that may be. Bye.